Hi guys, my name is Marissa Schultz. I'm the author of The Rise High Investor and I love property investment. I've been doing it since I was 18 and I've seen how it can transform lives. And I bring you these weekly videos to hopefully help you achieve your property investment goals and your financial dreams and goals. So let's get into it. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to work out what your retirement will look like based on your current situation and based on what you're doing with your finances. So step one is to understand your current financial position. So this really involves being honest with yourself, looking at your current assets and your current liabilities and working out what your net assets are. And when I say net assets, I'm only talking about income producing assets. So I'm not interested in your home that you're living in or your car or anything like that. It's really just income producing assets. So they would be your investment properties, uh, maybe some shares, you know, any assets that are actually earning you an income. So I've got some resources in chapter five on the website that you can access that can help you with getting a really good understanding of your current financial position and your current net assets. That's step one. Step two is to calculate what your net assets will be at your ideal retirement age. So hopefully you've got an age in mind and you know what age you would like to retire. So this step involves um, a couple of things. Firstly, you've got your superannuation. Use the superannuation calculator that I've developed in chapter two, bonus resources, to help you look at what your superannuation is currently, how many more years you're gonna be working for and what your superannuation balance is likely to be at your retirement age. Then I want you to use the investment property worksheet that I've developed in chapter 10 bonus resources to work out what your current properties will be worth at the ideal retirement age that you have worked out. I then want you to look at your debt and how your debt will change between now and your ideal retirement age. For example, I want you to include personal expenditure. So is your debt gonna be increasing due to things that you wanna do like more house renovations or you wanna buy more properties or you wanna borrow money to go on a holiday. But I also want you to consider your principal and interest repayments that you're likely to be able to make to determine what your balance is likely to be at the point in time when you reach your ideal retirement age. So what that is basically doing is helping us to work out what is your net assets likely to be at your ideal retirement age. Once we've got that figure, we can move on to step three. And step three is to multiply our estimated net assets at our retirement age by about 4%. And this is going to give you your estimated annual passive income. And this is really important because your estimated annual passive income, this is effectively the income that you're gonna have to live off of in your retirement, okay? Once you've got this figure, consider, are you happy with this? You know, if you work out that your net passive income is 10,000 a year, is that enough for you? You know, perhaps your um, net passive income is really, really good and you're really happy with it, which is reflective of the fact that you just have to keep doing what you're doing and you're fine. Um, but if you're not happy with that, with that um, annual passive income that you've calculated, then get off your bum and do something about it and make some decisions financially that are gonna grow your wealth and grow your net assets so that your net passive income will be greater at your retirement age. And once again, you know, as I've said in previous videos, don't rely on the like don't rely on the government to make this happen for you. Don't rely on the pension. Take control of your own financial future and make sure that you have the life that you want and the life that you deserve. Thanks so much, that's all I've got time for. I hope that you get a great benefit out of this video. And if you have any questions about any of the resources that I've covered in today's video, you can contact me directly at propertyinvestor at risehigh.com.au. I love to hear from you. So yes, please send me a line. And also as a thank you for tuning in, you can grab a copy of my book along with all the free bonus resources that come with it. Uh, for half price, if you hop onto the website risehighinvestor.com.au and enter in the code word video, you get a 50% discount and that includes all the bonuses for the book. So thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you next week. Bye.